Have you ever felt sad because you didn't get something that you wanted or been mad that things didn't go the way you wanted them to? Maybe you didn't get the Xbox you had wanted for Christmas or maybe you weren't allowed to go on that sleepover you had wanted to go on. It's easy to feel sad when we think about what we don't have. But do you ever think about what you do have? Have you ever thought about how different life would be like if you didn't have all the things you have right now? Like your arms and legs. What if you were born without any? How difficult would doing the simplest of tasks be? Could you imagine never being able to run, skip or jump or climb a tree or ride a bike? What about breathing? Have you ever been thankful for being able to breathe? Usually, it's so effortless that we even forget that we're doing it, don't we? What about your senses? Being able to see a sunset, smell a flower and taste an ice cream. They are truly blessings, aren't they? Well, there are many people who do live with one or more of these challenges And they are amazing and brave because they have chosen to be grateful for what they have instead of focusing on what they don't. Being grateful means you will be happy and thankful for all the wonderful things you have in your life right now. So how can we go about being grateful? Well, gratitude doesn't always come naturally to us which is why we should actively try to practice it every day. But how do we do that? When you wake up tomorrow morning, before getting out of bed, take a minute to think about something you're grateful for. Maybe it could be something fancy, like the brand new sneakers your parents bought you last week. Or it could be something very simple, like the sun shining through your window. Whatever it may be, focus on it and think about how lucky you are to experience it and be grateful. You will feel a sense of happiness and thankfulness that just makes you want to jump out of bed. And remind yourself from time to time throughout the day to keep feeling that feeling of gratitude. But it won't be easy at first. Remember, Gratitude is like a muscle. You have to exercise it regularly. On your first day, you probably won't feel much gratitude at all, if any. But don't give up. Take those few extra seconds each morning to really strengthen your gratitude muscle. At night, just before going to sleep is a good time too. Remind yourself to be grateful for all the wonderful things you have in your life, like a warm, clean bed, a family that loves you, or food whenever you feel hungry. Pretty soon, you'll be focusing on all the things that you do have instead of the things you don't. And you'll be the happiest kid on the block.